This is actually the amount of credits I still need to buy all the rest of the tier 8, 9 and 10 tanks which I do not have in my garage besides artilleries. Because this was the challenge uh, Ducky and Skill forced on me actually during the 2020's Christmas stream. Uh, where, you know, they were making fun of me not having all the tanks in my garage, okay? Yeah, I got bullied, right guys? I got bullied. So, I accepted the challenge and uh, I have roughly one and a half months to grind 113 million credits in total to buy all the rest of the tanks which uh, I do not have. You know, the deal was tier 8, 9 and 10 besides artillery, all those tanks need to be in my garage, right? And it is actually crazy, quite crazy and mind-blowing to think how many credits you need overall in this game to buy all the tanks, including artilleries, including lower tiers, because you can see that I have most of them, right? Uh, from the uh, German tank 3 I still need, you know, a couple. Over here I need uh, one tier 10 actually only, and some tier 8, some tier 9s. And from the Soviet tank 3 I have most of them over here. I believe Soviet tank 3 is the cleanest one. One tank missing, two and three tanks missing, right? American tank 3 is almost done as well. Uh, some from the French, uh, some from here. You can see FE line, I need to start writing that as well. Well, the uh, experience grind is not going to be that crazy. The craziest part, of course, is uh, is going to be the credits. Because I'm sitting at 34.86 million, but I'm far away from still, you know, 113 million credits. Now, I'm uh, placing my big bets on the Christmas bonus boost, you know, when we are going to get the extra 50% uh, credit boost, uh, as they have done in the previous years but uh, you know it's it's crazy right so today ladies and gentlemen let's uh, let's play with some premium tanks and let me show you how i am maximizing credit income of course it's it's quite easy you know it's quite easy to understand now don't use uh, basically any premium rounds i'm still carrying some premium rounds uh, on my uh, tanks which i did set up over here i'm going to talk about them uh, in a second why i did that for now, um, I'm like every now and then I'm switching out my uh, primary uh, credit grind tanks over here. But uh, long story short, what you need to know, what you need to do to maximize credits, of course, number one thing, premium account and premium tank. This is uh, the way to maximize credits. Now, if you do not have premium account, if you do not have premium tanks, uh, I would say tier 6 is the best place where to farm credits, tier 6, tier 7, around that area, right? And of course, uh, I'm saving every single bit of consumables as well. A small repair kit, a small first aid kit, and I'm not using food because uh, those actually uh, hit you quite hard. And uh, this basically is a free setup right over here. And um, I like what I'm, uh, what the logic behind uh, picking a tank is uh, good standard penetration. You know, tank that has something to offer like good DPM, good standard penetration combination or something like Rhine Metal Scorpion, for example, which um, doesn't care too much about the matchmaking. <clears throat> it actually doesn't, you know, it can do damage in uh, tier 7 battles, in tier 8 battles, uh, 9 battles and even in tier 10 battles. Now, you would like to choose a tank, if it is possible, of course, which can do damage everywhere. Like SDRVS1, for example, as well, has very high penetration. Uh, or DS5, like, that can take some beating, even in tier 9s, you know. It can bounce some shots while dishing out damage with its uh, decent penetration and good DPM, right? Or maybe light tanks, ELC even 90, which once again doesn't care too much about the matchmaking. It can do spotting in every single game and you can get uh, get some credits that way. EBR uh, 75, the same story, Sandlac, uh, or preferential tanks. Uh, Type 59 was in the list as well, but I just uh, de-equipped it uh, for some other tank. Uh, or uh, Gsor, you know, one clip. Uh, if you're able to penetrate, besides or despite this therapy gun handling, uh, you're able to do some damage. Uh, the SDRVK tier 9 uh, premium tank, the first ever tier 9 premium tank. Of course, it has plus 1, minus 2 matchmaking, the best matchmaking in this game. You are uh, definitely able to make some credits, or just, you know, the meta meta tanks like Procetto 46. And right now, for all the newer players, I would say uh, grinding credits is way easier than we had uh, 3, 4, 5 years ago, because, uh, you know, many tanks in this list, of what I mentioned today, SDRVK, Procetto, uh, then uh, EBR, for example, TS5, Object 
Project U74, all those tanks have been part of the mission marathons uh, where uh, many of you guys were able to get uh, those tanks for free. Many viewers actually did get all those, uh, all those tanks for free, uh, plus pawn store, you know, you just accumulate pawns uh, over some time and you were able to redeem it for a tier 8 tank. Back in the days, if you wanted to get a tier 8 premium tank, you had to cough out every single penny. Uh, that's, that's just it, you know. On the top of that, let's not forget boosters. Uh, if you have them available, credit booster on the top of that, and also platoon. Create the platoon, and if you are in the platoon, you get plus 15%, not 50, 15% credits uh, uh, to all the platoon members. And uh, if you are in the clan, you can activate the clan booster as well, which gives you... Uh, from 20% up to 50% credit boost as well. So there are so many things uh, how to get more. If you are in a clan, uh, if you are a free to play player, if you are in a clan, just you know coordinate your credit boosts uh, with your clan members or a uh, platoon up with someone, try to find someone to grind credits with. Uh, so today, ladies and gentlemen, let's actually play some battles and let's uh, Try to get uh, closer to the goal, to the 113 million goal. And I think I'm not going to buy any tanks before the Christmas event is over here, because um, usually what they have going on in the Christmas event is you can uh, pick some tanks from the deck tree uh, where you can put the discounts on. So I am uh, waiting on that as well, so hopefully this helps me out. Uh, for example, I can put the discount on AMX uh, M453. 4 and 30% discount, I believe, 40% uh, discount, 50% discount for tier rates, if I remember correctly, and uh, some lower tier discounts as well, but, you know, we're focusing on tier 8, 9 and 10 vehicles, because I was pulled into it once again. And uh, let's start playing with TS5, for example, because I have not played with this tank for quite some time, so without further ado, let's, uh, on this channel I have not played with it, uh, so let's activate some boosters, just to get, you know, extra experience over here and extra credits as well. I am not in the platoon yet, uh, nor uh, do we have the clan booster going on, uh, but uh, let's just jump into the action and let's see how many credits we are able to make uh, in maybe a tough matchmaking even. Let's go! And what do we have over here is a tier 8 matchmaking, which for this tank is actually very, very beautiful matchmaking. It can take some beating. It is quite an annoying tank to deal with, honestly. Whenever I play against the TS5, it's, uh, it, it can be a tricky tank. Depends on the, the vehicle you are playing with as well versus a TS5. Uh, you need to be accurate with your shots and you need some luck as well, you know, from the distance. But, uh, of course, the biggest uh, drawback is uh, that this tank forgot its turret to home. Yeah, no turret. So, let's see. Uh, north side is quite active. Enemy team is quite active over there. Uh, because we have so many tank destroyers over here, I am going to fire many shots. Uh, I think I'm going to take many, many shots, supply shots into that bush right over there. This was a miss. It was a bit low, but uh, thanks to its uh, fast rate of fire, we are able to keep smacking right home. There was a very beautiful shot, but so far no hits. I expect uh, I expect something to be over there at least. Okay, that is D28. Commander hatch, maybe close. This gun is derpy. This gun is very derpy. It has amazing, you know, aiming time and and whatnot. But oh, that was it. But overall, I would say this gun is uh, sniping-wise is very, very terpy. This is definitely a close to medium-range uh, brawler. Uh, two hits already, nice. Those hits, uh, wow. I would say you were quite lucky over there if I bounced off from you because uh, the only target which uh, kind of is tricky for me to penetrate is actually that T28. That D28 is quite a tricky tank. Maybe Patton is back in the bushes. Ooh, ISU. Maybe I did hit ISU before. But you can see how daft this uh, tank can be, actually, you know. Bouncing ISUs and stuff. Going to pull back a bit. I am hitting. Like, <clears throat> that was my third blind hit. That was my fourth blind hit. Otherwise, we should see th that uh, dust, what you just saw over there as well. Just like that. Four blind hits so far. Patton KR was shooting at us as well from that side. And boom, just like that, Patton KR most likely have has, has been hit. And that is Progetto. 
And that is going to be IS6, uh, what we hopefully... Okay, nice turning. Final second turning. Absolutely the worst timing ever for that type of thingy to happen. Enemy armor is damaged. That was APCR round from the D28. Which, of course, can be a penetration. But now, when he cannot see my lower plate, boom, just like that. We bounce the shot. You know, under 7 second reload time makes this tank very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But once again, from close to medium range. And boom! I think ISU was just destroyed 100% with blind shots. I believe so. And that was another blind hit. <laughs> I wonder how much blind damage we are going to have. Come on, how much blind damage are we going to have? This guy is an easy penetration for me, actually. Uh, but, you know, the main thing is I need to hit the target. The main thing is I need to hit the target. Just like that. Missed some damage with uh, some Turpy gun handling. Just reloading, keeping the gun busy. Keeping the DPM active. And boom, done. Alright. Let's take another blind shot. We have five AP rounds left, actually. I can't take too many more blind shots, guys. I actually can't take too many more blind shots because I'm running out of standard rounds and I have nine heat rounds left. Ooh, nine heat rounds. That should actually be uh, uh, tuned a bit. Uh, I should tune that definitely to bring it down to, I would say, seven or six around that. But uh, this tank is a prime example of a tank uh, which completely transforms transforms yes when you switch to the premium rounds because 200 48 penetration 860 shell velocity is actually very bad but when you switch to heat 1050 shell velocity and 300 bloody penetration 300 uh, heat penetration so you get so much more penetration and you get so much uh, better shell velocity, which is, I would say, even more important. Okay, I was talking over here and I missed out opportunities on uh, some of those guys. And artillery is hitting us as well. Uh, this is This battle is almost over, so 8 to 2 we're winning. It's only a matter of time when we're able to, you know, completely clean up this uh, this part of the map. And boom, just like that. ELC over there. They need to aim at my commander hatch. What they were able to penetrate. Commander is dead once again. Okay, I'm able to take one more shot into you. Hopefully I am. And just like that, high roll as well. Beautiful. Very nice battle. Uh, very, very nice uh, warm-up battle today. ELC is running away. But now, guys, I do not have any... Standard shells left. Ooh, lead was not bad. Um, and you can notice that... Uh, uh, you can notice that shell velocity difference right away. Right away. Commander dead ski. Commander is dead ski, but... Come on, one more shot maybe. Patton KR going up the hill. Or artillery right there. Come on. Give me the angle, give me the angle, give me the angle. And boom. No! What happened? This gun is so terpy. Like, this gun is so freaking terpy. So many times it is so freaking terpy. Okay, I want to see how much blind damage we had. 3,215, 997 assistance. Ah, would have been so awesome today, County Artillery as well. But hey, you can't be lucky all the time, right? You cannot be lucky all the time. Now, this battle... It should be like 100, let's see, 4,000, yep, 1,200 blind damage into ISU, I guess. Let's apply that, although I don't need it because I have this tank field modified up already. Uh, ISU, where are you? Okay, so 1,200 blind damage into ISU, yeah, that's, that's, that's quite funny. Uh, so that should be, uh, let me guess, uh, 208,000 profit minus 65,000 because of those missions. Uh, not bad, 
Very nice, very nice. Uh, 26,000 to Tavares stick ready to reserve as well, which is even better. So let's say just 140,000 uh, pure profit. Now add platoon bonus to it, add clan bonus to it, and add Christmas bonus to it, uh, to it as well. Ooh, Christmas is going to be hardcore credit grind. And so this is one of the tanks which... Um, was a free to get tank it was actually a marathon vehicle which many many i would say maybe most of the players were able to get for free even uh, so very nice uh, tank for many of you guys as well because you know of the marathon uh, but uh, now let's jump into the next tank well, uh, that is a bit of a sad story. I just finished the battle, by the way, which I was playing. I was talking the entire battle, but because I needed to cough uh, while I was loading into it, I muted and I forgot to unmute. Well, <laughs> if you have been uh, in one of my streams, uh, you know that I'm quite famous for it. Anyway... ELC. I wanted to play with ELC. It was okay battle, but the main message why I wanted to play with ELC was, uh, or the main message what I wanted to give with this type of tank, light tank, you know, it is also one of the tanks which doesn't uh, care too much about matchmaking as you can do spotting in um, tier 8 games, tier 9 games, tier 10 games. And if you're marking this tank many times, you actually want to get higher tier battles. So ELC, you know, we made some greatest over 100,000 uh, greatest profit, nice, sadly. You know, not recorded, but uh, let's jump into SDRVK, which is another marathon bank, and um, it is a tier 9, which has plus 1, minus 2 matchmaking. And over here, what do we have is uh, tier 10, IS4, gonna be a bit of a problem, maybe. FE215B, oh yeah, piss on me, cold and shower. Uh, at the start of every single battle, EBR definitely is going to be annoying. But one thing we can uh, definitely see right away is no artilleries. Okay, so let's use our gun depression and uh, our crazy accurate gun, right? To put that shot into T10 for critical damage. I cannot just emphasize that enough how, how weird World of Tanks is. The only game in the history of gaming where critical hit is actually a bad thing to get, you know. You deal nothing. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, standard B is rushing down our D54 mod 1, which is... Uh, let's be fair, over here quite sad. But we're able to drag that guy and deal some damage at the same time. And the beautiful thing about premium tanks is every single penetration means credits, right? Now that guy is almost impenetrable for us under angle like that. Uh, because lower plate was angled, all the things was, uh, were angled. Uh, there is standard P, who is making another mistake, and that was our tracking. Yes, indeed it was. Yes, indeed it was our tracking. Enemy team is pushing in quite heavily over here, but I have some sniping support, so I'm not going to, like, uh, fully pull back. We do go two enemy tanks at the same time. Conqueror. He's also done so. Wasn't even aiming. Wasn't honestly even aiming at the tracks. But you know, this is the gun for you sometimes. Commander Hatch hit as well. Alright. Emil 1 is joining the party. We can easily do that. The yeah, APCR just goes through. APCR just goes through stuff with no issues. There is Emil 2. And IS4. I think that was heat, right? Wasn't it? Oh, come on now, gun! Please, gun, can you behave a bit at least, buddy? Yeah, that was hit. That is hit indeed. Nice. He doesn't work super good versus tracks. Okay. Some damage done. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. I believe that Emil was using uh, uh, Brimo rounds as well. Otherwise, I do not see how he was able to penetrate that IS-4 so easily. I can penetrate the side turret if I hit that. 
Sniping with this gun from that distance is, well, not recommended, right? Good job, Yag Tiger. T10 is in the base. Beautiful. 93. 93. J Panther is a nasty dank. That guy has a nasty gun. I can use the dead ML2's wreck though. D10. Another chance, maybe? Nice. Penetration. Okay, we are 4,000 combined. We did misplay versus that um, FE a bit. J Banther drowned. Oh my god, come on. J Banther 2 actually drowned. Why do you do that? I can take the assistance. I can take the assistance as well. Bounced off from the engine deck or something? I don't know. There are many things in life I don't know. Okay. APCR from SDRV. And I bounced that. D30 is not aiming at us right now, so I can quickly snap that shot. Like this. And the EBR is going to be next, hopefully. Beautiful. Okay, so what did we do? Over 3,000 damage. 5,600 combined as well. We do not have any blind shots. It was a bit messy fight at the start, but still, you know, we won the battle, which is nice. We did some damage, which is nice. Not the most damage, but uh, credits, 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 and once again, credits is all we need over here, and it was quite a nice sum of credits, actually. Once again, free to play, you know, not free to play, I mean, uh, super cheap loadout, consumables, everything. All of my bounty equipment units are on uh, Toast Premium Tanks right now. I just demounted everything and I'm using what I have accumulated over the years, uh, when those things have been over here, not over the years. Uh, you know, when they started adding them and uh, using it just to maximize damage, just to maximize everything. Platoon. Clan boosters on the drop of that, and we're going to have a fine, nice credit dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, what is for dinner for me today? As always, like button, smash that, feed our family. And now I believe I am done. This was my today's episode for you. I will keep you posted how I'm doing with this crazy, crazy credit grind. Still so many credits to grind. So, so many. Let's just say 80 million, you know. Let's round it up. 80 million more credits needed. Uh, in one and a half months, uh, whoo, it's going to be nasty, it's going to be nasty, great grind, but uh, challenge is challenge, I was forced into it, but I'm actually happy uh, to be forced into it, so this uh, makes me to grind out all the tanks on this account as well. Guys, I get you next time with something else, stay awesome, stay beautiful as always, stay naked, take care, and bye!